Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my trying a new makeup product everyday series. Today I'm going to be trying out from the brand Oriza Beauty, the Dewy Glow Balm for skin, lips, and nails with vitamin E and rice bran oil, fragrance free. So this was sent to me in PR, so just giving that disclaimer up front that I received this product for free, but this is not a sponsored video. I just love a multi-use product, and that seems exactly like what this is. It kind of sounds like it reminds me of like a Vaseline, a petroleum jelly, and all the different uses that you can use that for. So like putting it on my lips or on like dry patches. It says that this has been perfectly formulated to repair and protect sensitive skin. It's an all-purpose skin and lip balm with UVA and UVB filters for sun protection. It's moisturizing, protective, anti-inflammatory, and soothing for all skin types. It's formulated with key functional botanicals, Oriza Sativa, Rice Bran Oil, Jojoba Oil, Shea Butter, Vitamin E, Sunflower, and Safflower Seed Extract. It's 100% cruelty-free, vegan, and the packaging is made from recycled material and is recyclable. So all of that sounds amazing. Let's go ahead and see how it looks. Just have to take off the little protective seal and I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit out. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it really does remind me so much of a Vaseline, let's see. Maybe a little bit thinner than a regular Vaseline but that's pretty much what it's like. Just clear, very shiny. Yeah, fragrance free, I think I read that, so I don't even need to smell it, but. So, I guess while I have some on my finger, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my dry chapped lips. Yeah, a great, easy lip product. It definitely feels very thin on the lips. It's different from a gloss, a balm, but immediately moisturizing and it gives that sheen so a perfect throw on easy lip product i actually don't have any vaseline left because i used it all up but i used to put vaseline on my lips for this exact purpose so i'm really happy to have this product in my collection now so i was kind of thinking you know based off the name of this dewy glow balm that it was going to be thicker, that I could even use it as a highlighter, but it's very thin that I'm worried it will just kind of lift my makeup and maybe this would even be used as a makeup remover, but that's just speculation. Let's go ahead and I have some on my finger now and see how it is on top of makeup on the cheek. I mean... It does give sheen to the skin and I wouldn't necessarily say that it's like melting the makeup in like a makeup remover type of way, but I don't know. I feel like it's kind of emphasizing texture and I just don't love the look of this as a highlighter because it looks too greasy, sweaty. It doesn't really look glowy. It just looks shiny which is not what I want for a highlighter. It could be a, like a base for a powder highlighter, maybe. It's not necessarily tacky, but it's kind of wet on the skin and it doesn't dry down. But, so yeah, not something that I would really wear on top of makeup, but now we know. It, but since it doesn't seem to lift the makeup, it seems like a great product for like, for some reason, this has been happening for like months now. After eating or as the day goes on, my chin will get really dry and have dry patches. And it's really hard for me to moisturize it if I'm wearing makeup. But I feel like a product like this, I could just go over on top to moisturize that area. Yeah, because what's great is the makeup is still staying intact. The only thing is it adds shine. So it's gonna make my chin look shiny 
if this is the product that I use to moisturize those dry patches. So in my opinion, because of the wet shine of this, the only place that I really like to wear it to show off that shine is my lips. So I love this as a lip product, but it can be used like on the body. If you have dry patches, it says the nails, which my cuticles are so dry. So let me just take a little bit more and apply a little bit to the cuticles. Yes. I really like this on the cuticles, but once again, you are going to be left with kind of greasy fingertips. So if you're touching something that you don't want to get <laughs> any greasiness on, you've got to be careful if you're putting this on your fingers. But I have to say, I really do like this. Very moisturizing, easy to use for wherever you want to have some shiny, <laughs> moisturized skin but I would just say this is a version of what a Vaseline petroleum jelly can do but you can get those for a lot cheaper but still prices aside I really like this and I am definitely going to get great use out of this it's a product that I would throw into my purse because you never really know what you're going to need to put this on if it's my lips if it's like i was saying a dry patch that comes up my nails start bothering me because i like the cuticle starts peeling you know it's just such a great multi-purpose product to have on hand so i really like it because of that i would love to hear in the comments down below what are your favorite uses for a product like this a vaseline type product I've heard people will even like mix in, you know, blush or something and create a liquid blush. I just feel like there are endless uses. So I'd love to get some tips in the comments down below. But thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.